Jenny was part of a 16 cat rescue from a 15th floor flat in Hull. I got six of the cats as foster cats and Jelly was one that I got. It was straight away noticeable that he would have problems wobbling and the vet said it was neurological. Then he started having fits, not often but often enough to be concerned. Jelly has um, fits, it's epileptic fits, so he loses consciousness and he doesn't know what he's doing, so he goes round and round in circles. Um, he loses his bladder, so he wheezes everywhere. Um, I try and keep him in the kitchen where there's lino, but sometimes I have to scrub carpets and things. But you don't mind, it's not his fault, he can't help it. Quite often I'm the one that gets weed upon as well, so I'm sat here holding him, making sure he's alright, while covered in pee. But I don't mind, because... You can't help it and I love him. Two weeks ago, Jelly had three fits in a row. Um, we was worried, thinking this could be the end for him. So we had to rush him on a Saturday night through to the vets. Um, with blood tests, more scans and everything, he was diagnosed with a small liver with abnormalities so he's now had to change medication and change food it is more expensive for him we are a charity that does look after cats that will not put a cat down if it's got a quality of life and as you can see on the video jelly has got a wobbly quality of life we love him but he has just cost the cost the charity a lot of money and we are asking if anybody would love to sponsor our cat if 30 people could sponsor him at £5 a month, that would cover his vet bills for this last time he was in the vets and hopefully that will give him the rest of his life with us.